ladies and gentlemen of the class of 99, wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. Hey guys, so I've been trying to think what I was going to talk about this week. Um, summer's fast approaching and it's usually at this time that I'm like going to the tanning bed, I'm getting that base tan. Uh, because there's no way I'm going to go to the pool or the beach and like be pasty white. Like it's just not cute and I'm not going to do it. But at the same time, we need to protect our skin and you know, skin cancer is a very real thing and especially here lately, I've been really thinking that I probably should do a better job of protecting my skin and the biggest organ I've got, which is skin. So I think this week me and my friends are going to get together and kind of give you some risk factors, some things to look out for, and then other ways that you can still be tan and beautiful and not put yourself at risk for skin cancer. I wish I could lay out and get a tan. I know, but I have red hair and green eyes. And I have blonde hair and blue eyes. And those are risk factors for skin cancer. So Tiffany and Lizzie just explained the risk factors. Now we're going to talk about the types of skin. Type 2. This means we burn easily, tan minimally, and have very sun sensitive skin. Some examples of type 2's are fair hair, fair eyes, freckles, and blonde hair, and Caucasians. <laughs> type 3. We tan gradually to light brown and we're still sun sensitive. No matter if you can get sunburned or suntanned, important thing is everyone is still at risk. Type 4. Type 4 burns minimally, tans moderate to dark brown, and is minimally sun sensitive skin. What are you? Now that Lizzie and Tiffany have given you the risk factors, now they're going to just give us the ABCDEs and that's just an easy way to recognize the signs of melanoma. Does the molar spot have an irregular shape with two parts that look very different? B is for border. Is the border irregular or jagged? C is for color. Is the color uneven? D is for diameter. Is the molar spot larger than the size of a pea? And E is for evolving. Has the molar spot changed during the past few weeks or months? Today we're talking about how to protect yourself from the sun. First things first, there are no no hours during the day. Did you know that? From 10 to 4, it's like the sun is killing me, right? So I really need y'all to put on some sunscreen and some protective gear because those damaging rays will make you wrinkly and ew. Second off, did you know that 80% of the damaging rays reflect off the water, the sand, the snow and even concrete oh my gosh y'all I'm dying right now because I do not want to be gross and wrinkly and ew so I just want to say before you go running before you go lay out like please apply some sunscreen okay and if you're gonna go work out try to do it before the hours of 10 to 4 because remember those are the no-no hours hey guys so like I said first we're gonna put on some sunscreen before we walk out that door am I right all right so let's go ew what I don't, this is oil and this is not good for your skin. This does not protect you. There's no protection of UVA, UVB, UV whatever rays. Okay, so ew, no. Next off, yes, we are going to do this. This is SPF above 15. It is the best, okay? And if you look on the back, it protects me from UVA, which are the most damaging rays to this awesome skin, am I right? And UVB rays. So I'm going to apply this to my lovely skin. 
second off, don't forget your luscious lips because those are most important. This has SPF of um, 45 and that is so important. Apply this. All right, I got my sunscreen applied. And y'all, I'm just saying you need to buy this every two years because after two years, sunscreen loses its potency, okay? So you gotta go buy some more. But not only sunscreen protects you, but other things do too. Like this umbrella that you can sit under, it looks so cute under. You can sit under that. You can wear some shirts. This shirt is so cute. You can wear a shirt. You can put on a hat. You can also protect your eyes because I get so worried about my, my eyes and their sun protection. Okay, so here's how you can be sun safe and cute. We have this long sleeve shirt. It's really lightweight, so it's real nice to be outside in. It actually has sunscreen protection in it. This brand Columbia has sunscreen in the shirt, which is so weird, but awesome, right? And then we have these long hats, these long brimmed hats, sorry and it protects your face your neck and your ears and some of your shoulders so it's really good big sun protection right here also we have these sunglasses and that protects your eyes because your eyes are really bad at risk for getting some sun damage sure what's myth and what's fact. Allison and Callie are going to kind of separate myth versus fact for us next. Oh my god. Do you know tanning a salon is safer than tanning outside in the sun? Actually, people who tan indoors have a higher risk of all forms of skin cancer. But the sun is the best way to get vitamin D. Well, you can get vitamin D outside, but at approximately 5 to 10 minutes of sun exposure, a person will reach the vitamin D maximum absorption level. After that time limit, the vitamin D will then break down into inactive compounds that are said to cause cancer. Well, I mean, it's cloudy today, so whatever. There's no way I'll get a tan. Actually, Callie, up to 80% of the UV rays can still reach you when it's cloudy, so beware of those deceiving clouds. But a base tan will prevent me from getting burnt on spring break and once I actually go to the beach. So that would be perfect. Well, there's no such thing as a safe or protective tan. The skin tans in the response to the UV damage to the skin's DNA. I mean, this here says there's no need to wear sunscreen while you're in a car because the windows will block it. Well, windows can block the UVB rays, but they don't actually block the UVA rays. Well, I use sunscreen with an SPF. 50, so I'm set for spring break 2015. SPF, which stands for sun protection factor, protects against UVB rays. Make sure to buy a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects against UVA rays too. I mean, if I get burnt on spring break the first day, I'll just like wear cotton tea and throw it on over my bathing suit. Wearing a cotton tee actually only acts like an SPF 6, while wearing a wet cotton tee acts as an SPF 3. Ever. Tanning only ever so often won't cause premature aging of the skin. Whether the exposure is indoors or outdoors, UV exposure over time causes what doctors call photo aging or wrinkles and a leathery look, and we don't want that. Okay, well, I put some on this morning, so it's not like I have to reapply all throughout the day. I mean, I put it on this morning, I don't have to reapply. Well, actually, you're supposed to like reapply every 80 minutes to properly protect the skin. So we might need to reapply after lunch. Okay, well, whatever. My chances of getting skin cancer is like so rare. Well, actually, one in five Americans will develop skin cancer in some form of their lifetime. This is why it's so important to know the truth about the sun and how to protect yourself. Thank you so much for watching this week's skin protection video. Just remember, you know, use sunscreen, a broad spectrum, cover up, wear a wide brim hat, 
wear you know those Columbia jacket that Marie sh showed earlier I still like to be tan and that's still possible like this bronzer from Sephora it's not streaky you can still go out with a tan just be careful out there so thanks so much to my friends for helping me out and um, I'll see you guys next week now this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down now I'd like to take a minute just sit right there tell you how great knowledge about damage to sun rays Was at the beach getting some for days, not knowing about the damage of all the sun rays. Chilling out, messing, relaxing, all cool. Had my body laying outside all day by the pool. Used my sunscreen and realized it was no good. Started making trouble on my livelihood. I got one real bad burn and my mom got scared. She said, You're going to the doctor and no more summer air. I pleaded with my dad, but when he came near, he threw my oil away and gave me SPF yeah, from here to here. Anything the problem was if you were only there, but I thought, Whatever, forget it. Yo, Doc, I'm coming there. I pulled up to the dock about seven or eight and I yelled to my habits, you're home, smell you later. Got me some sunscreen and showed in my face and I was still on the beach with no stress in the air.